Hi everybody, welcome back. It's Justy, and I very recently came to a startling realization. I don't know how much of a Lolita I am, which means you don't know how much of a Lolita I am. And how can you possibly be subscribed to my content and watch my videos if you don't know how much of a Lolita I am? You can't. We're gonna correct that problem. The time has come. <laughs> I found a quiz online that is the Lolita Level Up Quiz 2.0. I think it's from like 2014 is my best guess based on some following comments, which is pretty old. So maybe not everything is super relevant, but I think it's gonna get us close enough to what I am for you guys to feel comfortable being here with me. So let's go through this together. It looks like it's gonna assign me some points. Those points will tell me exactly how Lolita I am. Very important, we all need to know. So follow along, let's find out. Grab a pen and do this with me and you can let me know how Lolita you are too. Maybe you're more Lolita than me, pretty good chance. But either way, let's get right into it. <laughs> so our first little group of questions, it's 16 at a time so you can keep track and find out how many points you're getting. 16 is an odd number. I wish they had done it like 15, like that would have been nice, but whatever. So one, you have a favorite brand. I do actually, just based on the fact that I am obsessed with finding prints of theirs that look like vaguely Peter Panny. So that would be Alice and the Pirates is my technical favorite brand, I think, followed by Angelic Pretty. So we got a point. Look at me, I'm off to a great start. You own a petticoat. I do, I own multiple petticoats. Which is the next question? You own multiple petticoats in different cuts and or lengths. Yes, I have a cupcake petticoat. I have an A-line petticoat. I have a big giant poofy hoop skirt type petticoat. I got a lot going on. You own a parasol. I skate by this one on a technicality. My mother went to a wedding in Japan and I was brought back this very cute, lovely parasol. So yes, technically I have one and it can be used with Lolita. It's a very cute pattern, but I did not technically buy it for Lolita or buy it at all, but I'm giving myself a point. I think that counts. <laughs> you own an item from a brand. I absolutely do. You own a novelty item from a brand, like plates, mugs, stuffed animals, home decor, or anything non-wearable. It's my first hit. I do not. <laughs> I don't consider myself, I guess, lifestyle enough to kind of buy that sort of stuff, nor do I really want to spend the amount of money you have to spend to get these non-wearable items from a brand. I like the dresses, I like the clothes, I don't necessarily need mugs or plates or notebooks or, or whatever. I'm okay. You own an item from Bodyline. I do. A couple different items, most of which I am disappointed with. You own an item from a Taobao brand. Yes, several. I love Taobao brands. I think you can find a lot of good stuff on Taobao. A lot of bad stuff on Taobao, but same as any website really. You own an item from a Western indie brand. Yes, and I'm actually wearing it today. It's unfortunately doesn't exist anymore but that's what this was. You own an item you bought off eBay, Amazon, or a shady website and it came out okay. Uh, not in terms of Lolita. Oh, okay, okay, shady website. It was kind of like a, a reseller from Japan that I didn't know the quality of. I didn't know really what I was gonna get. It was a bit of a risk doing it. I didn't buy like a big, dress or anything, but this just says item. So I think that counts. It's not like the big name eBay, Amazon, whatever, but it was a bit shady and it could have gone wrong. So I think that counts. <laughs> You've bought brand directly from their official store. Yes. I bought my first Peter Pan dress from Baby the Star Sign Bright or Alice in the Pirates, Japan. You've bought a lucky pack. Also, yes, my very first dress came in a lucky pack because it was also going to give me a couple matching things. And I thought that was super useful. You bought an item in reserve. I don't know, I don't know what that means. Like I reserved an item, like it was a pre-order type thing. I'm guessing pre-order. I think that's what it means personally. But yes, I have done that a couple different times. You own a complete Lolita outfit. Yes, several. You've worn a complete Lolita outfit in public. Yes, a couple different times. <laughs> and you've worn a Lolita outfit in public and it wasn't even on Halloween or at a convention, yes several times. I've only worn Lolita to a convention once and I've never worn Lolita on Halloween. Alrighty, so far we're at like 15 out of 16, which I think is a pretty good start. 
I think I'm, I'm a little bit Lolita here, maybe. <laughs> All right, let's do the next grouping. You've bought and sold on an online Lolita community. Yes, I frequently use Lace Market. I love it. I'll buy whatever on a secondhand market as long as um, it's not damaged. Not playing that game. You paid retail price for a rare secondhand brand. Uh, I don't think so. Neon Star Diner would have been less than if I had bought it from like the Paris location. Uh, the castle one was expensive, but I still feel like it was maybe less than what it would have been to buy. So I'm gonna have to go no with that one. Uh, you've paid double the retail price for a rare secondhand brand. No, you paid less than 20% the retail price for a secondhand brand. Example, you paid $40 for like something that was 200. No, unfortunately not. But I would love to have been able to say yes to that one. You've bought from a Japanese auction. No, I have not. I barely like doing auctions and eBay bids and stuff on this side. I don't know if I could handle doing it from Japan. <laughs> You've ordered from a shopping service. Yes, many, many, many times. Love a good shopping service. That's how I do Taobao. You wear clothes you've made for yourself. Now the answer to this is technically yes, but I recognize it saying in Lolita specifically, and I have not made any Lolita items yet. Although I do want to make myself like a really cute like candy dress. Ugh. We're getting way more no's in this one, that's so sad. You wear a print that you've designed yourself. Also no, I cannot draw. <laughs> you wear clothes you've had custom made for you. Ooh, ooh, does that count like giving sizes? No, I feel like that's like ordering something to be made for you. So I'm gonna have to say also no. Have had brand pieces altered to fit your size or style. Nope, I'm very lucky that I haven't had to do that just yet. Although my Alice and the Pirates Peter Pan dress is like this close. You've been wearing Lolita for over a year. Yes. You've been wearing Lolita for over five years. No, but at the end of this year, it will be five years. Ah, uh, you've been wearing Lolita for over a decade. Sadly not. You have enough Lolita outfits to wear a new one every day for a week. Yes, yes, I could definitely accomplish a week. Ah, uh, you have enough Lolita outfits to wear a new one every day for a month. I'm gonna have to go with no. I got quite a few different dresses, but not everything has a full cord yet, and I just feel like that would be pushing it. So we'll have to say no, sadly. You've converted an interested friend to Lolita. I feel like I should get double points for this one because I've done that quite a few times actually, but I'll be, I'll be fair. I'll give myself the one point. But yes, I have done that. Practically everyone in this household. We only got five in that last one. <laughs> That's so sad. Clearly I need to do more Lolita things. It's okay though. We got more to go, we're gonna get more points. We're gonna do great, I know it. You wear brand with your normal wardrobe. I do not. You don't have a normal wardrobe because you only wear Lolita. No, absolutely not. I love wearing just regular comfy clothes sometimes and I am never giving up uh, fandom printed related whatever t-shirts live in those. You know how to hand wash your Lolita clothes. Yes, I do know how, I just don't want to. You know how to wash a wig, also yes thanks to cosplay more than anything else, but I do know how to wash a wig. You've worn a wig, circle lenses, or false eyelashes. Correct. I'm literally in a wig right now. You've worn a wig, circle lenses, and false eyelashes all at once. Not with Lolita. I decided very early on that I don't feel I need to have big round eyes to do Lolita. I totally respect people who do. I think it looks very cute, but I really suffer when I'm putting those in. Regular contacts are bad enough. So I haven't worn all three. I've just done wig and false lashes, but clearly I don't get the point because I needed all three. You own a pair of rocking horse shoes. I do not. I feel like I'd fall off them. I gotta be honest with you guys. Heels are hard enough for me. You own a pair of tea party shoes. I do. They're not like a brand name tea party shoes, but they're tea party shoes. You own a purse shaped like something ridiculous. Uh, not so much. I feel like a heart. Although, I do have a bag that is Captain America's bag meant specifically for Lolita. And I feel like in context that is a little ridiculous because when you think of Lolita, you don't necessarily associate right away with Captain America. So I'm counting it. Captain America's shield bag counts. <laughs> uh, you own the old school rectangle headdress. No, I don't particularly care for those. I also have never tried one, but I just don't think I'd look good in them on my head shape. So no. Nope. You own a bonnet. Also no. Don't care for those. You own Lolita room wear or pajamas. Nope, it's the cords or nothing, baby. You own a Lolita item that was released this past year. Yes, absolutely. You own a Lolita item that was released over six years ago. 
Oh God, okay. We're gonna do a need to bit, gonna need to do a bit of research here. Hold up, hold up. Ha! Got it. My Infanta, Sleeping Bear JSK, technically six years old now. Yes. <laughs> you own a Lolita item that was released over 10 years ago. Okay. Hold up. Okay, okay, okay. I'm super shocked that I got this one too. <laughs> It's amazing how many dresses are just like unknown release dates. So maybe I've got more than one. Who knows? Doesn't matter. My dress that has been out for 10 years is the Bodyline Antique Clock OP. Not like my favorite dress, but it counts for this. So we're taking it. <laughs> okay, and the last question in this series is you own every item released in a favorite print slash series. No, I very rarely get the whole set. Also, I'm never on time enough to like order the whole set. I'm always buying things secondhand or blah, 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 whatever. So no, that is not true. All right, we got eight in this section. Not as bad as five. I'll take it, I guess. You have worn something on your head that is never intended to be worn on a head. Uh, not yet. I'm sure that will happen though. <laughs> You've worn a trendy accessory, deer horns, halos, pin, pen, 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 I don't know what the heck that is. Eyeballs, etc. Uh, I've done like tiaras and crowns and those seem to be pretty trendy. So I'm gonna count that. You've worn sweet Lolita. Yes. You've worn classic Lolita. Absolutely. You've worn gothic. Nope. I just can't pull it off. You've worn old school Lolita. No. You've worn boy style. No, but God, I think I'd look great in it. I just can't afford to collect also boy style. I just can't do it. You've worn one of the lesser worn the latest substyles such as punk, girl, wah, girl. I don't know. I hope I said all those right. But yes, I do Sailor Lolita. I freaking love Sailor Lolita. Oh, you know the difference between a JSK and an OP? I do. You can name at least five prints. Sure. Antique Clock, Neon Star Diner, Pride and Prejudice. Uh, what's else in my wardrobe? Sleeping Bears, Castle Mirage. Done. You can tell which items are for which brand just by looking at them. 90% of the time, I'm gonna say yes. So I'm gonna give myself that point. I've definitely, I've gotten there. There are some art styles and motifs and, and cuts that really go along with each kind of big brand. Uh, you can tell which items are for which brand just by looking at them, even if they're not a print. Probably not. I have no non-printed stuff in my wardrobe. Not that I don't like them, I just, have it. Oh, actually I have one. I lied. I have one non-printed, but this is beside the point. Um, they're not my like favorite favorite and I haven't really spent any time looking at them very much because I don't buy them a lot. So I would probably get that wrong. Uh, you can tell what your brand piece came from just by looking at it. No. You've taken Lolita outfit snaps. Yes, absolutely. I take photos of everything. That's my life. You've traveled to visit a fancy looking place just to take outfit snaps. Yes, absolutely. And you've started a trend that others have followed. No, I am not a trendsetter in Lolita. I'm a trend follower. Nine, we got nine points that time. We're getting better again. You own a gothic Lolita Bible. No, you own every single gothic Lolita Bible. Absolutely not. Your picture is in the gothic Lolita Bible. No, <laughs> your picture is in a gothic Lolita Bible because you're a model for a brand. Oh my God, could you imagine? No, <laughs> you own a Lolita sewing pattern book. No, I do not. I own a Lolita sewing pattern, but not a book. Uh, you've made something from a Lolita sewing pattern book. No, you've seen Kamikaze Girls. Is it bad that I say no? I also, the next one is you've read it and I have not read Kamikaze Girls. I didn't even know there was a, a Kamikaze Girls to read. I definitely thought it was just like a film. You've met uh, Novala Takimoto. I have not. You've met Misako. I have not. <laughs> Oof, I'm doing real bad in this one. Misako has made you an official Lolita ambassador. Could you imagine? No, <laughs> absolutely not. You've met one of your favorite Lolita designers. Have not. Uh, you've learned how to sew slash craft just so you can make your own Lolita clothes slash accessories. Not so, but I have looked up some of the crafting for like various rings and and little like earrings and that type of small jewelry for myself i haven't done it yet 
but I've looked it up so I can do it. So I'm gonna give myself that point. You've decorated your house slash bedroom to match your Lolita wardrobe. No. Your Lolita wardrobe is part of your decor. Displayed hats on a shelf, keep a mannequin on dressed up, blah, blah, blah. Uh, no. I mean, my hats and like stuff are indeed on a shelf, but they're in a closet. They're not out where you can see them. You've been interviewed for newspaper or magazine article for, article for wearing Lolita. I can speak. Also, no. <laughs> Ugh, I did not like this section. So we're down to one point. I said we were getting better. And then it got worse. Great. Let's go back to five. I like five better. You've made friends through Lolita. Yes, I have. I have a couple of lovely friends because of it. Uh, you've made friends in foreign countries through Lolita. No, I have not. You've celebrated International Lolita Day. No. You have a separate Facebook profile just for Lolita. Oh my God, that would be so much work. Absolutely not. I don't even really like post a lot of Lolita on my Facebook, honestly. You're known by a different name when you wear Lolita. No, I wouldn't know how to answer to it. I would just forget. You've twinned with someone. I have not, but I would really, really like to. You've tripleted with people. No, uh, you've been part of a group of clones. No, listen, I don't go out a lot, okay? You've taken a perica, perica, perica in Lolita before. Considering I don't even know what that is, probably not, but I think it's those cute little like photo booth type things, which I have not done. And I do not have a Parika app on my phone, which is the next question. No to both of those. You had to explain what you were wearing to a stranger. Yes. Yes, I have. You've been called a princess by small children. Also true. I really, really like that. Old ladies have complimented you and remarked on how nice it is to see young people dress nicely. Yeah, like not in those exact words, but the same general concept. So I'll give myself that point. You've been called Bo Peep. Yes. You've been asked if you were in a play. Yes. And you've been asked what you were cosplaying as or compared to an anime character. No, actually I haven't. I have not been referred to in cosplay. Okay, that's six. We're peeking up again. Nice. You're a member of online Lolita communities. Yes. You're active in online Lolita communities less so these days, so I'm gonna have to give myself no. You're a mod in an online Lolita community. Absolutely not. You're a mod in an online community of over a thousand members. No. God, I would not want to be in charge of that. That's too much responsibility for this idiot. You've attended a meetup. Yes. You've attended a tea party meetup. No, I went to tea with a friend, but it definitely wasn't a meetup. You've attended a brand sponsored tea party. Nope. Although I now own enough brand that I could. You've traveled multiple hours to attend a meetup. No, luckily none of them have been that far. You've hosted a meetup. No. You've hosted over six meetups. Oh God, even more no. <laughs> You've hosted a meetup with over 20 attendees. No, stop it. I haven't hosted anything. We get the point. You've been to a Lolita swap meet. Yes, that was like, one of my first, actually I think like second Lolita meetups. It's pretty cool. You've attended a large scale Lolita event or convention. Nope, it was just a regular convention and I wore Lolita to it. It was not specific for Lolita. You've been on staff at a large scale Lolita event or convention. No, I don't think I'd ever wanna be convention staff. I think I'd lose my mind. You've been to a Lolita panel at a convention. No, you've hosted your own panel at a convention. No, not for Lolita. All right, we're back down to three from that one. These last groups are really hitting me hard. All right, we're in the last group of 16. This is it, guys, we made it. You've seen a Lolita fashion show, not in person, which I feel like is what they're counting. I feel like a YouTube video of it doesn't count. You've modeled in a Lolita fashion show. God, no, I am not graceful enough. I'd be just like clumping down the, the uh, runway. You've seen a brand fashion show. No. You've modeled in a brand fashion show. Stop asking if I've modeled. I haven't. I'm an idiot. Uh, you own your own Lolita clothes or accessory line. Nope. No, no, no. Not talented enough for any of that. You've hosted your own brand fashion show. No. You visited a Lolita shop. Sadly not. I would really like to one day though. Go to San Francisco. That'd be cool. You traveled to another country just to buy from Lolita shops. No but I would. You own and run your own Lolita shop. Isn't that the same as like kind of a brand? But no, I do not. Or I guess you could own a shop and have different brands in it. Okay, that's fair, yeah. You're friends with a brand shop girl. No. You are a brand shop girl. 
No. You run a Lolita blog, traditional Tumblr vlog, etc. Yes, I make these videos, which I wouldn't count, but um, I also have an Instagram specifically for Lolita. There it is. So yes, I'm counting that one. You run a Lolita blog with over 1,000 followers. God, no. <laughs> it's a tiny little baby account. You've been called e-famous. Oh, I hope nobody ever, ever calls me that. So no. You have been called e-infamous. Also no. And last but not least, you have been featured on TV for wearing Lolita. No. And we're back down to one point. Okay, I have received 48 points from this quiz. Wow. I can't say if I thought I'd do better or worse. I feel like that's just fine. I won't read the descriptions of every single one. I'll just tell you what the points equal, um, and then I'll read the one that I got. So, 1 to 15 points is a curious onlooker. 16 to 40 is just starting out. 41 to 60 is a well-rounded Lolita. Now that's mine, so I'll read it. 41 to 60 points means you're probably a very well-rounded Lolita. You have a fair-sized wardrobe that allows a variety of outfits and some style experimentation. You have a few Lolita friends, and you've attended your fair share of meetups and even fashion shows. What did I just say? I've been to none fashion shows. <laughs> you probably have a few volumes of the Gothic Lolita Bible. No. And you've definitely taken interest in Lolita hobbies. I guess a little bit. <laughs> your next step is probably to step out of your comfort bubble. Try a new style you've always wanted to try. Host your own meetups, or perhaps finally apply to be a model for a local Lolita fashion show. Hard pass. <laughs> If you got more points than me, the next ones are 61 to 80, experience Lolita. 81 to 100 is top of your game. And 101 plus is Lolita royalty. I wish I was royalty. Not that I want to be like big in Lolita specifically for any reason other than I could use Lolita royalty. All right, and that is the end of the quiz. So apparently I am a very well-rounded mid-range Lolita, which is, you know, not bad. I'll take that. So now you may take comfort in knowing that your content creator knows at least a little bit of what they're doing, I suppose. I hope everybody enjoyed this video. Obviously it was for just fun. I would keep doing what I'm doing even if I got like the lowest amount of points. Let me know if you did the quiz and what points you got, which what level equals. And if you didn't do it with me, the link will be down below if you wanna do it on your own and then you can still tell me what you got or don't, you know, it's your personal information. I'm not gonna expect anything. Thank you so much for joining me today in another Lolita video, everybody. I love making them and I will see you in the next one. Bye.